Hey everyone, we are here today at Inn at the Forks in Winnipeg. We are super excited to be spending 24 hours exploring the Forks, and today we're gonna share with you our favorite things to do if you have a day here. Woo! So the hotel at the Forks is called Inn at the Forks. This is our first time here, and this is our room. The room is absolutely gorgeous. The number one thing that I would want to mention about this room is the fantastic view. It is like the most perfect view of the CMHR and the downtown Winnipeg skyline. The room we are staying in is the Junior Suite. It's got everything you could possibly want and it features some products from Riverstone Spa, which is here at the hotel. So I can't wait to try those out later as well. Highlight at the Forks is all of the amazing food options that you can try out. So we're gonna head on over to the market for lunch. I'm gonna get three tacos. I love these tacos. Everything feels like, I don't know, just like super fresh, super yummy. It's like perfect food for a summer day. I love it. Beef roti. Potato, chickpeas, and beef. So good. So the first meal I ever had at the Forks in the 90s was at Bindi's. I think they've been around over 30 years. Um, and it still tastes as good as it did that day I first walked in there. Thank you, Bindi's. This is a sparkling Moscato rose, and it's amazing. I love it. Problem is, I could drink the whole bottle. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you subscribe so you'll see more videos just like this one. And also, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Super easy, like there's lots of cute places to bike around the forks and it was such a nice little ride over the bridge. The bridge is beautiful. It's the most perfect date so far, so highly recommend doing the bike thing if you can when you're at the forks. So we got the salted caramel crepe. The salted caramel is really really good, but it's not crazy. Like some salted caramel is too sweet. This is perfect. at the forks for a day so we've spent just a little bit of time exploring on the bikes but if you had multiple nights that you were spending at in at the forks it would be a great way to pass an afternoon to get the bikes and just come on over to St. Boniface and explore for as long as you possibly could it's gorgeous over here time for cocktails and here at the Forks there is no better place to do that than Smith. So we are going to head on over to the patio and try a couple of different drinks out. Yeah, it's like very good. It's perfect. Very, very summery. All I saw was absinthe and grapefruit and I figured it was for me. Yeah, that's nice. That warms the cockles. Also have the option of ordering food here. They have some amazing choices on the menu. Lots of delicious things to choose from. One of the great walks at the Forks is walking from the Forks Market to Nijo Ziaben. Along the way, you'll pass the Prairie Garden, the Udene Celebration Circle, and you'll get to cross the historic rail bridge. The 
Oryx isn't just a confluence of two rivers, the Red and the Assiniboine. It's also a confluence of cultures and community, and that's pretty awesome. loving about today is exploring a place that we come to pretty often yeah. and seeing brand new things for us. Yes. Like, I've never wandered over to the South Point lands before. I can't remember ever crossing this bridge. Um, I've seen the mural on the bridge and other people's photos, but I don't think I've ever had a chance to see it with my own eyes. And so it just feels really special to be able to come and take in more of one of the places that we love to visit. For dinner tonight, we've decided to go back to the Forks Market for one of Winnipeg's best meals at Pasero. We might need to buy a bottle of St. Germain for our apartment. <laughs> so this is a Pasero gin and tonic. It's got some basil in there. It's perfect. I would say it's like predominantly Italian with other flavors fused into it. So it's just like small plates, sharing style food from all over the world. Am I tearing up? I think I'm tearing up. It's so good. What I enjoy about it the most is it's got these like pistachio, pieces of pistachio in it. So that's part of what gives it the crunch. But then there's also, I think, jicama and maybe apple. Yes, apple. So it has like a bunch of different textures to it, which I find really tasty. And to me, it's just like, it's like a summery garden salad. I just find it really, really delicious. Here's the beef short rib. These are crispy potatoes that go along with it. And then it's got like a creme fraiche with chives or green onions. And then it's like a truffle, a black truffle au jus. This is probably one of the best dishes I have ever had. Knowing that this food is here, it's what makes me feel proud to call Winnipeg my home. Knowing that there's restaurants that serve food like this in the city, it's amazing. Our breakfast. This is a chocolate croissant of some kind, I think, from Tallgrass Prairie Bakery. It's fresh. <laughs> so messy. This definitely is an almond croissant, but just also with chocolate. It's super buttery and very, very tasty. Crispy, soft. I do feel a little guilty eating this. There's so many joggers and cyclists. They're all getting their workouts. This is our workout. The last thing that we chose to do during our visit was just wander the Fork site and take in all of the public art and unique attractions. There's so many cool things to see here.
If you have a little bit more time to spend here, another great thing to do is to visit one of the museums that are close by, such as the CMHR or the Children's Museum. So that's how we spent our 24 hours here at the Forks. Let us know in the comments below how you would spend your day here. And don't forget to like the video and make sure you subscribe so you get more videos just like this one.